morning. Well, I've managed to wake up today. I've woken up today with a limp. The big toe. Giving me some real grief. So, earlier on in the week, my right foot felt really painful, and now it's the left. Can't make its mind up, can it? It might be something to do with... You're out there, Chance. Might be something to do with the fact that I went for a run on Monday or Tuesday, and it's been a while, so I've probably pulled a tendon. Right, we've come back in, and as you can see, the foam has expanded nicely out of the container. But one thing I did notice is that looking inside, where we've sealed the top, for instance, and it's set down here, it's not set. So that's because the fumes can't escape. So the bubbles will burst. Well, if, if we can't get that, uh, if we can't get the fumes out. So what I intend to do is just sort of drill down through the top, several key places, just with a stick, basically, and make a hole for the fumes to escape, and then we'll fill, fill the hole back in again with some more foam. So I've just done a spot of welding, I'll show you what I've made, just in the meantime I've had the fan on here look, look how the colours changed, look at that it's hard, everything's starting to set up. Anyway, what have we made with the welder? Well, I don't know if you noticed on yesterday's vlog when I made, I think it was yesterday or the day before, when we made the whirlpool arm. Well, I found the whirlpool arm particularly difficult to screw on and off. So I've just put some wings on there, look. It's like a wing nut now, and I can really tighten it up and undo it. As simple as that. And then on the boil kettle, this is temporary. I know we've got dissimilar metals with brass and stainless, but it's a cheap option for filling the tank now without having any accidents and overflowing onto the electrics. Oh, the floor. So we've whacked a ball valve in there. On this side, we've come out with a 90 degree to a tap, and then that tap can either receive a quick disconnect to hook up to the hose pipe, you know, the mains water, or fail that, we can put a solid pipe in at some time in the future and run along this back wall over to the CLT there and if we get a pump for the CLT, then we can, of course, pump cold water across into here. That's had a chance to sit there and uh, vape off any chlorine or chloramines. Well, not the chloramines exactly, but definitely the chlorine. So also, we come across to the other side of the HLT. These fittings that you saw me do the other day, these are for a sight glass. So I've got a little bit of braided hose here, which I'm happy to use on the HLT, because it's never gonna get more than 70 degrees C. So we'll just install this, and then bar the element, we'll be ready to, uh, to fill her up. Now that wasn't actually my best welding there. I don't know if you noticed, twice I think, the colour of the light changed to a greeny blue. That's because I actually dipped the tip of the tungsten into the metal by mistake. Normally what you do is stop at that point, go and grind your tungsten clean and carry on. But sometimes you can just power through. But uh, yeah, the changing colour if you're starting up TIG welding is something that I've noticed is evident if you do actually contaminate contaminate your tungsten so uh, if you don't actually see yourself dip you'll definitely tell because the light will change considerably good little tip 
So this one I put a bigger uh, CIP connector on because obviously this is going to be the HLT so we want to put a lot of insulation on the lid to make sure that it stays warm if we heat the damn thing overnight. Right, let's let you into a little secret. I already know about this but I've been waiting for confirmation. I did speak to them the other day and they told me that everything was cushed there. So let's have a look what we've got. Shushing. We are in. So we've got it. Partnership, the partners, Harrison's Brewery. Certificate of registration. There we go. Set up the beer duty by direct debit. A and B classes. We're freaking in, folks. We're freaking in. So, as of today, we can start making beer. Right, let's not hang around then. Woohoo! So, Stu's familiarising himself with the licence, seeing as he's now a producer of beer. And would you take a look at this? You might not be able to see straight away. That is a solid block of ice. And we've got the bath down to 2.8 degrees. I'm going to turn it off. I know we can, I know we can go a lot lower with this, but we don't have any glycol in it yet. That's why it's frozen. Once you've got glycol in there, she no freeze. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I just need to set up a pump and a research system for it all now, and then she's going to be ready to cock and all. cutter it is time to just clean the edges we're going to roll this into a six inch chimney to go on the boil kettle lid yeah. There we are. So this is the chimney that we're going to put on the top. So what I need to do is weld the seam together, tack and weld. There's a little bit of diagonal uh, distortion. You might be able to tweak it out. I'm sure I'll be able to tweak it out with a tax. So I just need to find a way to pull this together, tack three or four places. And run a weld down. I'm not bothered about back purging because at the end of the day it's a chimney, it's not exactly a hygienic fitting and uh, I can get in there and clean it with my hand if I need to, even if I need to deburr it with the Dremel. So let's weld this baby up and see what she looks like.
sorry about that folks, I did have to cut it short somewhat. We had a bit of an issue outside with parking, I had to go and shoo some hood rats off. And uh, I didn't manage to get this finished. It's looking pretty good though, isn't it? That's the chimney stack, so I can get a nice big uh, flue pipe on there. CIP still. Cutting off, inspection chamber with the old flippy lid. Pretty good. That'll be Gemma on the phone now. Just uh, bear with me. Hi, love. Now I'm going to come and pick you up. Just stay where you are. See you in a sec. Bye bye. Right, so that's it then. She's finished. I fed the children. We buggered off to McDonald's. You know, why not? Lovely sunny day. We had a nice freezing cold milkshake and a share box of chicken nuggets. So that's the uh, welder turned off. Where's me? Here it is. If anyone's curious, this is the tripod that we use for all the handheld shots. Bit of a Joby gorilla pod with a ball head. Just clips on like that. We're away. Right, we'll see you tomorrow. Mental. Mm -hmm.